Hello, my name is Wolfgang Schmal. I'm professor of crystallography and geomaterials at LMU Munich. We are a quite an old university, older than the voyage of Christopher Columbus to America. And we are quite proud of this. We have got a whole series of subjects in the university covering almost anything that you might want to study. Here in our department, we, we are in Earth Sciences, so one of the subjects which we work on are rocks, such as this one. This may be not so interesting. But other subjects which we work on are rocks such as this. This is a functional material, it's a magnetic material, and uh, it's very important to understand magnetism of earth materials in order to understand how, for example, continents moved. Other work is going on about functional materials like this. This is an artificial rock made of aluminum oxide. It's a hard material. And you find that everywhere where tools need to grind down, for example, steel. And speaking of steel, we also work on alloys. These alloys typically come in the form of such rods, and this is a shape memory alloy. You only need to heat it to about 100 centigrade and it will come back in the original shape. Isn't that fun? But our main field of research are biomaterials. You all have teeth, I hope, and bones, and there are also shells like this. And these shells today are used as prototypes for modern, energy-efficient, lightweight composite materials. So we look at this with a variety of methods, and for this the most important method is electron microscopy. So in our place here you learn mainly about all sorts of analytical techniques, including, of course, techniques using neutrons at the research reactor in Munich and using x-rays. The x-rays can be generated here in the laboratory or we travel to places like Grenoble or Hamburg or Switzerland, PSI, to use so-called synchrotron radiation. And with this radiation we can investigate how the atoms are arranged in here, but not just the atoms, how larger units like macromolecules interact with mineral grains in bones or shells and how these whole objects are structuralized on all length scales. This material is nickel titanium, NITI. Maybe you need to film it from the top. When we warm up the alloy, it comes back to the original shape. There you see, and now it's the original shape, and we can use it again, heating this up, it will also come back to the original shape. This is a shape memory alloy, and it's a very interesting crystallographic mechanism in this alloy, which gives it this property. And this is something we are working on at our institute in the LMU using neutron diffraction. And neutrons you need to penetrate through such a big sample where x-rays would be hopeless. They would never get through it and then we would not be able to analyze the crystallographic mechanism. Munich is a big city and it's also a very international city. So here you find people from all over the world doing all sorts of businesses and of course you also find students from all over, the, all over the world studying here in our universities. Our normal teaching language has become English. So when you come here in the Mama Self framework for studying, for, for studying in classes, uh, you have quite a broad choice of subjects because uh, if you study in our course here at LMU, you can also go to courses at the Technical University, 
the other big university in Munich. Uh, but you can of course also visit lots of chemistry and physics classes at our university, the LMU. So we are able to adapt uh, your study program very much to your own need. So we are very flexible in this. And as you know, Munich is a big city, but all the research institutes here in Munich and around Munich and the universities are very well networked and you can easily travel with public transport to attend lectures in all the universities and research centers and different sites. There is also a lot of high-tech industry in and around Munich, from aerospace via polymers to photonics to biomaterials, so that it's also quite easy to find a student job, if you like, uh, to earn some money in one of the industrial companies.